Hello, hello everyone. How are you? It is B, and welcome to Psychic Sounds by B. We are here to do another daily for you. It is now the 11th of April. So this will be for the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th. Please remember that these energies are very fluid. So they could be happening to you. They could be happening to someone around you. So just be aware of that. For all the services I have to offer, please simply go to the description box below. Please like, subscribe, and share. Really appreciate it. The likes really help the algorithm for YouTube so that more people see my videos. So maybe I can help them too. Let's see. Members, I'm going to be responding to all the comments uh, on the members channel tomorrow, and I will be setting up uh, my winners who had their free reading tomorrow as well. You should have already heard from me. I sent those emails out last night. All right, Let's see what we got going on here. Let's go ahead and pray over the deck. First card. They're telling me to do four cards. Very interesting. So I do have a feeling that this top row is going to be one story and the bottom row is going to be another story, but we'll see what happens as we pull these energies in. So what is the first card for our daily? The Ten of Wands reversed. You know, someone is tired. They're tired of holding on to the burdens. They're tired of having a lot of things on their plate. It does appear within the next three to four days or so that if you have had a lot on your plate, you are dropping those burdens. You are going to be able to get yourself situated, organized, more in control of your every day. This could be giving up on a project or giving up on something that has been taking a lot of your time that now you are in a position to say, you know, um, I have to decide where my energy really is most valuable. And maybe this project or these two projects or this duty or obligation I have is just not serving me. So I'm going to drop that burden. That's what I'm hearing. Something about the home is coming through here. This could be projects within the home that are, are like everything that needs to be done is kind of getting checked off. You know, if you make a lot of lists for your home or whatever. A lot of boxes are being checked off. Okay. What's the next card? Four of Pentacles. Um, Four of Pentacles is holding on very tightly to finances. Uh, this is also avoiding, you know, spending too much or looking for ways to save money, looking for ways to you know, shave off expenses here and there, which can make a big difference later on. Uh, it all adds up is what I'm hearing. It all adds up, okay? This is also someone who can be very selfish. Uh, this person, it's so interesting. You got the home energy here, and you also have this person sitting on the steps in front of a home, Someone might be sitting on the steps in front of a home uh, waiting for someone or 
getting ready to move or getting ready to um, maybe welcome somebody into the home, but maybe asking questions as far as value, worth, um, and talking about money in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Wow, we got two Pentacle cards already. And it's so interesting that, you know, someone is arriving and the person arriving could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, but the person arriving does have the money. They just haven't arrived yet, okay? They do have the money, however. They are looking out, they're checking out the property, the land, the acreage, the farmhouse, the the apartment, whatever it is. And like they're, they're checking it out to determine, yes, I am going to make this payment or yes, I am going to um, offer, you know, my hard earned money for this particular purchase. Now, this could be a purchase of anything. It's really interesting because the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles have a look, have some similarities here. You know, the money is not being offered out. You know, like you see the offering of the cup, okay, with the with the Knight of Cups. This is more I'm going to keep this to myself or I'm waiting for everything to check out. Because this person doesn't just throw their money out the window. They're very particular. I'm hearing somebody is very particular. What's the last card? Death. Well, the thing is, is that this could have something to do with a Scorpio person. A Scorpio individual might be part of whatever this may be. Uh, this is all about uh, transitioning or transforming from one way of being into another. So let's just say you are, you know, looking for a home or you're looking for land or you're looking for a way to drop the burden. You know, this goes back to saying, you know, hey, I'm dropping this burden because I, I can't handle this anymore. I have to put an end to it. Okay, so somebody's putting an end to it. Someone might be selling their home. Um... This could also be a situation where someone is going from renting to owning or owning to renting. It really could be anything, but it's a transition in life. Okay, this is the transition in life. Now, for some people, this could be, you know, the death card comes in and it says um, there may have been a physical death in a situation, uh, but... This could also be where, you know, sometimes how they, how people look at other people and they say, oh my gosh, you look like death, you know? So somebody might be trying to recuperate from an illness. Um, that does come through here as well. And it may have had something to do with this needing to get the stress out of their lives, drop the burden, um, narrowing down their obligations. I think somebody really needs to narrow down their obligations here because somebody has way too much on their plate. Let me see what else I'm getting from this. This could be leaving a job as well. Some people feel as though they're the ones that have been um, holding on to the burden or taking on the burden to keep things running, to keep the money in the bank, to keep, keep the money flowing. But the thing about it is, is this person may have gotten another offer or they're leaving the job, which causes like this death to the corporation or it causes a massive transformation in the department. It could be something like that. This this is being felt, 
whatever it is. Okay, this is being felt for sure. What's the next card? Five of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold, feeling as though there's really nothing there to salvage. I'm hearing salvaging, salvage. Uh, somebody could be going to an old salvage store and rummaging through old things that other people have discarded or sold for, you know, very little money and so they can buy it for very little money especially if you're you know, it's like a secondhand store or a restore something like that could be coming through here but um the five of pentacles is all about feeling left out in the cold feeling like there was no appreciation no respect um there was an error there was a mistake regarding perhaps how the burdens were handled or how Someone was ha handling more burdens than someone else. I mean, I'm just going to give you an analogy. If, if you're at a job where you're with maybe 10 people and two people are doing all the work and then the other eight are benefiting from that work, there's an uneven distribution of what needs to be allocated so I believe someone might be finding out about this uneven distribution and the uneven uh, recognition of that contribution that, say, for example, those two people were making and maybe one of them is leaving or both of them have left, okay? But again, I do feel like this is another story. This could also just be a loss of money, the inability to grow something. You know, I'm looking at this and as you guys know, I live in the Midwest and we've had a really, really bad winter overall. And it has been 80 degrees for the last two days here. And I still have ice mounds that have not yet melted. And you know, now that I'm saying that, this may have something to do with someone having like an icy heart. Like, like that song, your cold is ice. You'll sacrifice our love. Is that by Foreigner? I think. I could be wrong. But, yeah, you're cold as ice. You'll never pay the price. I know. You've done it before. I've seen it all the time. You open the door and you leave the world behind. You're digging for gold. That type of thing. You might want to listen to that song, but that's definitely coming through here. Wow, someday you'll pay. You really do need to listen to that song. I think it's by Foreigner, uh, Cold as Ice. Because this is about hurting someone. This is about not recognizing someone's contribution. This is about the, the inappropriate allocation of duties and, and obligations and, and taking on the burdens so that things could keep moving forward but it was never reciprocated it was it was never it was never recognized so the thing is is it feels to me like there's this this re, this residue okay there's residue with the energy that was created and how maybe these two people or one person or four people were treated even though they were the ones trying to keep everything afloat and keep everything going. So that residue is karmic residue. So if they've dropped the burden by either leaving a company, leaving a job, leaving a relationship, whatever it was, 
the residue is there and the karma will be served. Perhaps. That's what I'm hearing. What is the next card? The Wheel of Fortune. You know, what's really, or the Wheel of the Year, what's really interesting about this right now is that things are going to move forward. Things, the, the wheel is going to start moving forward once again. This It, it seems to me this is just a small hiccup. Because if you've got the Wheel of Fortune after this very interesting, you know, burdensome and, and life-death type of transition as it relates to finances and feeling left out in the cold, that's going to turn around. Perhaps for the for the people who are who decided to put an end to something, they're no longer carrying the burden, and maybe they feel like they were left out in the cold. They feel, you know, I, I just gotta let it go and just forgive and forget. And then all of a sudden the wheel starts moving forward again for them. But this is bringing in more control. This is the balancing out of the finances, the balancing out of the intellect, the balancing out of the ingenuity, <clears throat> and the balancing out of the emotion that was part of this overall story. What's the next card? Three of Wands reversed. So the Three of Wands reversed is, in, in the upright, it's about, you know, waiting for your ships to come in, um having really good energy, you know, come back to you, uh, waiting for a response from someone, seeing what your contribution has yielded in a situation. When it's in the reverse, again, this feels like the contribution is, is not there or Again, somebody's contribution was not respected or was not um, given appropriate accolades. <clears throat> this could be something untoward happening by the water, by the coast. And it has to do with money. Hmm. Like ports and ships. I mean, this, uh, there's, there are ships out there. Excuse me for that light. But in the reverse, those ships can't dock. They can't port. Something, something like that. I don't know. But that's what I'm getting. What's the next card? Knight of Cups reversed. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio person in the reverse. Um, this is the rescinding of an offer. This is the rescinding of some sort of helping hand. So interesting, guys. Remember what I said, that this guy is holding on and he's not really offering anything just yet. And I said, not like the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is making an offer. But it's in the reverse. So obviously I picked up the Knight of Cups for a reason. But but again, this is, um, this is the rescinding of an offer. This is someone who's overly emotional. This is someone who doesn't know how to handle their emotions. This is someone who is upset about something. This is someone who's, you know, maybe not well. Someone might not be happy about how something is transitioning into something else. This could also be someone who made an offer to someone else and it was it was denied. It was it was uh It 
It was thrown back in somebody's face. I am going to have to clarify these guys. I, I Not all of them, but definitely some of them. Oh, this one just fell. This is going to be for the Ten of Wands. I want to know what this death card is all about. If they come in reversed, I'll read them reversed and upright. What's this Five of Pentacles about? And I want to know what the Knight of Cups reversed is about. Let's see what's going on here. Why is the Ten of Wands reversed? Why is this burden being dropped? Why is someone needing to make room for more space in their life so that they're not so stressed out, so that they they don't have so much on their plate? Get the facts. Wow. Okay. So someone either didn't get the facts or someone did get the facts and now realizes why someone dropped the burden. You know, sometimes when truth comes to light and people in general have been bending over backwards for someone or they've been trying to, you know, um, keep the business going or keep the relationship going or whatever it is, and then they get the facts of the situation and then they decide off those facts that I'm dropping this. I'm dropping this burden. I'm no longer going to deal with this. It's not my problem anymore is what I'm hearing. What's going on with the death card? Finances. Yeah, this definitely has to do with finances being uh, upside down. Someone feels like they're paying more than they should for a situation. Uh, someone's finances are, are, not, are not doing well. Or somebody's finances are undergoing a transformation in some way. But there was burden as it related to the finances. Now, in the upright, it could mean that the finances, say, for example, your finances are going up. Well, then that's going to put an end to a way that you were in the past to the way that you're going to be in the future, potentially. But like I said, in reverse, this tells me this is a lack of finances or strain on the finances. And because there's a strain on the finances, there are some things that must be let go of. You know, going out every night, going to the bar, you know, um, the type of groceries you get. I mean, like whatever it is, like things have to be changed up to be a little bit more budget friendly. Why is the five of pentacles here? The sun in the reverse. So the sun in reverse is um, lack of clarity, not having the clarity as it relates to the error, the mistake, feeling left out in the cold, feeling like your finances are being burdened right now. This could be a Leo person as well. So a Leo person perhaps needs to focus more on the finances and on their value before they do anything. Pentacles can be health. So maybe a Leo's health is... is is not 100%, but they're going to bounce back pretty quickly. Yeah. Because the sun is also about health. So the sun is health, well-being, um, healing. The sun heals. But in the reverse, it, it, needs, it needs a little bit more time. It's coming. It needs a little bit more time. 
It's definitely coming. Why is the Knight of Cups in the reverse? Uranus. Something rather unexpected happens in a situation, something someone was not expecting, some surprise, some type of electrical jolt, you know, that someone is getting here. Now, Uranus does rule Aquarius. So Aquarian energies may have something to do with this as it relates to hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, networks, associations, mob rule, uh, the collective, thinking uh, outside of the box, the cosmos, the heavens. So whatever is happening here that is unexpected, it is making a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio rescind an offer in some way, shape, or form. Or something unexpectedly happened that someone else was not, obviously not expecting. And it may have had something to do with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person being scattered or not being focused and being scattered. What do you think, guys? Do we need to do we need to clarify any more of these? I, sorry. I have I have to do this. This is why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Why is the Three of Wands reversed? I need to know those two for sure. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here upright and why are things starting to move forward? Yes. I think somebody got the facts. And when they got the facts, this gave them the opportunity to answer their own question. Do I drop the burden? Yes. So whatever the yes was, whether it's in agreement of, it could be, is this what you heard? Is this what you did? I'm like, I'm hearing inquiry as well. Like somebody's asking questions and someone is answering back, yes. And when this yes happens, then things start moving forward. But why is the three of wands reversed? Cycles. This goes back to what I was saying earlier. This, this has to do with just the cycles of things on a very mundane level. So if we're talking about ports and boats and ships and not being able to port or dock or whatever, something has to cycle through for some reason. I don't even know what that means. I'm, I'm not a boating person. I don't know. But something about cycling through. And then also this could be that right now the cycle is not good or is not conducive to any type of response right now. You know, a lot of people are going through the death and rebirth cycle. And so you might be waiting on them. They might be waiting on you. Nothing's coming in. You can't see any return on your investment, so on and so forth, or your ingenuity. It's just cycles. That's what I see here. All right. Crystals or Oracle? I think we shall do Oracle. Let's do Oracle. Okay. Earth, air, water, fire. What do we have for your overall advice? Earth, air, water, fire.
You know, I might even say the death and rebirth phase is happening for everyone. Be patient. Because this is what it feels like to me. Like things are going to start moving forward again, but you know, it's kind of like a hiccup. It's like two steps forward, two steps back, three steps forward, one step back. It's, it's kind of hiccuping as it's starting to move forward again. This may have something to do with Mercury going retrograde as well and being in shadow in the near future. But the signs that are really sticking out right now are Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer. All right, let's go ahead and pray over the deck. Earth, air, water, and fire. Earth, what's your advice? Align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? What is not aligned or needs to change? This is change. Does it have to do with your finances, earth sign, or does it have to do with you holding on to things that you need to let go of? Burdens, obligations. You're, if you look at this, it's like this woman is looking at herself in a mirror and the mirror is broken. It's shattered. It's like there's shards of her. She's not seeing herself clearly. And maybe others don't see her clearly. <clears throat> so think about that earth sign. Air sign. No. Wait. Postpone. Pause. Say no. Wow. Wow. What is going on here? Air sign. You know, air sign, if you are being asked to go somewhere or you're being asked to do something and you've got a feeling like, no, not a good idea. Yeah, listen to that. Okay. This could be where someone is trying to coerce you into something. This could be something as simple as changing a schedule. Okay, it, say for example, you've got a delivery coming in and you're like, okay, oh my gosh, I got to postpone this because I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Like the house thing up here maybe. Like I said, things, things will move forward eventually, but for right now, pause. Water sign. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. Keep facing your true north. So for some of you uh, water signs, you might be moving northward or going north towards something. <clears throat> Go with the flow. Don't dwell on things. You've done what you've needed to do. Don't overthink it. You're already doing it. 
keep going down your path. You know, you may have been the one also that said, I'm dropping this burden. I'm going to be a little bit more selfish, you know, with my situation. I'm not just going to give to others, you know, carte blanche. I'm going to put an end to something in my life. I have to because I feel like I'm being devalued. I need for things to start moving forward for me again. I'm tired of waiting. And I'm tired of feeling out of place. Or feeling like I'm not my best self with this Knight of Cups reversed. So keep going. You know what you're doing. You've seen it. This could be a uh, visioning as well. Maybe you've been visioning or meditating or something like that. And this, this energy is coming through for you. So just keep moving forward, water sign. Fire sign. The ever unfolding rose. Cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Okay. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sages. It's happening for you, not to you. Whatever is ending in your life is happening for you, not to you. Maybe there was an unexpected event with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that you didn't particularly care for. Remember, it's for your benefit. It's not happening to you. It's happening for you. It's to help you. It's to assist you. Maybe needing to, you know, reassess your finances as well. Because as soon as you or somebody else says yes, then the wheel starts moving forward. But before you say yes, there's some sort of burden that must be dropped. There's some sort of protecting your value, whether it be finances or your integrity. Not just handing it out to anyone and realizing some things need to go. They're toxic. They need to go. It's not entirely clear yet. Something is not entirely clear yet. I really do believe I this is what I'm going to call this. I'm I'm basically going to say everybody's going through massive death and rebirth cycles right now. Be patient with yourselves and with other people. I mean, that's really what this boils down to. Okay. You you could either be going through this yourself or someone around you. They may seem edgy, they may not be themselves, they may not feel, you know, the way that they would normally feel. So what's important is just to go with the flow. Okay. I'm going to leave that there for everybody. I wish all of you the best. Much light, much love, many blessings, and catch you on the flip side.